She no one designer Girl she be finer Meet her for finer Wanna make a minor hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is italian gobo if you're a new subscriber welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back welcome back and guys please do watch the ads please do not skip the ads in today's video this one is quite i found it close to home okay because i think there's things I hadn't thought about you understand and it kind of opened my eyes for some reason my eyes are more open now <laughs> i think i never thought you know i never thought of it this way and it's not to say i'm that ignorant i think i just haven't thought about it like that do you understand like i'm sure i'll see people say they regret uh divorcing and like i'm trying to think of a scenario which i've seen i remember i've seen a pali some and i didn't watch the whole podcast and i think i should go watch it i did see a clip of where she was saying she regrets divorcing and she wouldn't advise anyone to divorce and i've also been seeing i think it was tia mori speculations about how she regrets divorcing and still I never, like, I never went to watch those podcasts to, like, find out why they were regretting their divorces. Or maybe I just felt like it was far-fetched. Now, after, after the conversation I had with this lady, I was like, okay, so people, okay, so people regret divorcing and rightfully so rightfully so but anyway let's get into it okay <laughs> today's episode is very educational and i think what i enjoyed most is that this is a woman who's in her 50s now it felt like wisdom for some reason it really felt like wisdom like i enjoyed speaking to her like I really enjoyed the conversation and yeah so i couldn't exactly bring the conversation because we ended up having a like basically a chat but i did take out a few points that i would love to share you know that she wanted me to share basically so the first one is that her husband was a loving man okay they were living a normal life Two, they have two children. Three, she started feeling unhappy in her marriage. Four, and then she started, she decided to start going out with a, a, her unmarried friends. And yeah, they started partying. So basically she enjoyed her unmarried friends company and then they started partying. Five, her mom advised her to stop but she couldn't. She felt like the world had so much to offer her. Six, she started losing respect for her husband. Seven, and then she started seeing her husband boring. Eight, she eventually started cheating on her husband as she would go out at night with her unmarried friends who would then like get you know what happens at parties nine she left in hopes that the grass was greener as she was dating a married man who had also promised to leave his wife and then 10 she ended up divorcing her husband 11 the married man never left his wife 12 her ex-husband moved on after the divorce was finalized and he has remarried 13 she watches them create a happy life while she is miserable on the other side 14 she wouldn't advise anyone to live their normal married life 16 she has been changing men ever since her divorce she has never settled or found love again that's the end 
like that's the summary basically yo guys i'd love to clarify something that came up during our conversation i love marriage one if you're someone who watches my videos you'll know like i always say that i love love i love marriage i love stability yes my channel is not about beshi marriages no my channel is definitely not about beshi ma marriages and my channel is not even about motivating women to leave their husbands never i would never do that i i do not motivate people to leave their husbands may i also say this and i know i'm gonna sound like a hypocrite because i did say that a cheating man you can leave a cheating man i want to digress a bit there you can leave a cheating man i know i did say that me personally cheating is a red flag for me but maybe i never i didn't look at it in a broad sense if your husband is providing you the life that you want and besides the fact that he's cheating everything else feels good for you if i was in that position where i feel i'm being provided for i have no like financial stress i'm secure i'm not living in a rented place it's a home i wouldn't leave if that was the case where everything else is being taken care of no i wouldn't it's just how i feel that yes maybe the circumstances where i wouldn't leave a cheating man Ooh, yeah no i wouldn't i don't wanna lie i wouldn't and i know i'm gonna sound like a hypocrite or i got double standards but if it makes sense i wouldn't leave okay let me make a good example to back up my case a good example would be donald trump's wife millennia why would you leave the president of america like i totally understand her decisions very well like I, I do you know i do this are some of the cases i personally if i was millennia i wouldn't leave also okay i shame i wouldn't so like i perfectly understand that there's also situations where you like you common sense common sense at this point a two-headed household is better than one in my very first video on this channel i did say that it can't always be happy and lovey-dovey there are quiet moments you need to be comfortable with the quiet moments do not divorce because you feel like it's boring in your marriage because i feel like that's how she felt and then that's why she divorced and if anything, I think boring men are the most sustainable men that you could ever marry. A nerd, a boring man, don't sleep on those. I would love to commend her and her honesty. I don't think it's many people that can come here and say, I regret divorcing. It doesn't happen often. I commend her for taking accountability to say listen you know what i'm the one who messed up my marriage if there's anything i can do to help other people not to do the same mistake as i did really i i'm not i feel so proud of her everybody's reason for divorce is valid for them some people are in abusive relationships some people and even with say you're not cheating which she said the husband was not cheating by the way i don't know i don't know man i for some reason i judged her there for a minute or she had peace of mind but she didn't like the peace in her house she felt like there was something outside well she was being misled also by her friends i also cannot exactly blame her friends because at the end of the day we are adults we make our own decisions we make our own choices she chose that life for herself she divorced for the wrong reasons she did not divorce for the right reasons and this is probably why it is haunting him marriage has different stages happiness is temporary happiness is a feeling it's a temporary feeling you cannot expect to always be happy in your marriage it's not reason enough 
to divorce i looked a little bit into tia murray's story for some reason people are saying that she divorced because she felt like she was no longer happy and if that's the only reason of which i'm saying i'm going to go watch those episodes i don't feel like it's reason enough even alone i'm not always happy you know so what more in marriage am i making sense i think i have not lied about the fact that divorce is a traumatic experience divorce on its own is very traumatic but if it's worth it you will do it but if you feel it's not worth it do not do it and i always say do not divorce for like petty reasons do not divorce if the good outweigh the bad. Write a list of your pros and your cons and then weigh the two. If the good outweighs the bad, why would you divorce? Don't do it. Only do it if the bad outweighs the good and you are ready and you are so sure. Like, you need to be so sure. That this is what you want and then you can go ahead and divorce other than that do not be taken by emotions and listen to maybe us when we talk about um how we divorced and blah 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 it was hard it was hard i won't even lie it was hard if you can save your marriage save it there's no perfect marriage there's definitely no perfect marriage. There's no perfect relationship. In my own opinion, sleeping alone is so much better than sharing a bed with someone I cannot trust, with someone who is my enemy, with someone who is sharing a bed with someone else with someone who is embarrassing me out there with someone who don't love me like i do i think my last message would be divorce for the right reasons and divorce because you have to and most importantly pick the right partner better marry later than Mary wrong. I don't know where I had this, but it made so much sense to me. I hope it also makes so much sense to you. For what is worth, the grass is greener where you water it. Please do leave your comments in the comment section. I think her situation was different. Her situation was different and I understand there's people who regret divorcing and yeah i send you love and light and grace if anything and to someone who's out there who's not unsure whether to divorce or not seek legal help and seek therapy see if you can work through it or not because if anything you have to be sure out of so many things that you can be unsure of in life, getting married, be sure that this is the person that you want to get married to. And then also divorce, be 100% sure that this is what you want. That's all I can say. Please do leave your comments in the um, comment section down below and please guys don't forget to watch the ads thank you so much for watching and yeah i wish we could take this conversation further because it's somehow somewhat triggering i guess i don't know how it makes you feel i think it was triggering to me but i also want to validate someone who divorced for the right reasons, Kuti. There's nothing wrong with getting a divorce. There's nothing wrong with being divorced, especially if it was a toxic marriage, especially if it was an abusive marriage, especially if you couldn't stand being in that marriage anymore, especially if you are so sure about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. She no one designer. designer. 
Girl, she be finer. Meet her for finer. Wanna make a minor. 